welcome everyone to another lesson on the Arc Development Kit. Today I will be teaching you on how to add water to your map. Um, first off, we're going to need to know three things about water. Water needs three components to be fully functioning. You're going to need a mesh, which is going to uh, visually represent your uh, ocean or water source. You're going to need a water or a physics volume which will tell the game that you are currently within water and that you should start swimming that the game should start make splashing sounds and um, yeah that's basically it on what it does and then last of all um, you're going to need a post processing volume what that does is going to tell the game to um, add blue effects to the camera and add depth blur and all that kinds of stuff. So, so like the, purely the visual underwater representation. Um, I currently have a small test scene set up here with an island and a dirt plane um, because that will make it a lot easier to show you on how it works. So first of all, at your modes tab, you're gonna type BP underscore, and you can already see an island water plane. You're going to drag that onto your map. As soon as you've done that, you'll see that the scale for me it's been set to 150, 150, and 150. Make sure yours has that as well. Uh, probably when you add it the first time, it's going to be a little bit different, so make sure you change those settings. Next up, um, the standard water plane has some holes in it. This is because of the caves that they have created. So what I have done is I've created a solid match which does not have any holes in it. So I'm going to type SM Ocean and I'm quickly going to replace the um, standard match with my closed one and as you can see there is no holes anymore. That is basically it for the water plane. Now I'm gonna go over towards the uh, water volume. I've already created one. Um, if you wanted to create one yourself here in the modes tab you're gonna type physics and there you have it, physics volume. Drag that onto your map and I would suggest scaling it with the brush shape and not with your scaling tool. Because um, that could uh, mess some things up. Anyway, once we've got that one, uh, once you've dragged it onto your map, you want to change the fluid friction to 0 0.95 and check the water volume, obviously. Also, you want to make sure physics on contact is enabled. Uh, make sure your water volume covers your entire swimmable area because if you do not as soon as you leave the water volume you're, the game is going to be thinking that you're on land again so if I would cross this line right here um, the game would just put me on the ground and I would just start walking again doesn't matter if I'm underwater or not and last but not least you're going to need a post processing volume again at your modes tab you can type post process to drag that onto your map as well and I've already created one and um, the settings of this are quite detailed so I'm just going to uh, slowly uh, take you guys through it um, but first I'm going to explain it the post processing volume as you can see it adds the nice underwater blur as soon as I leave this area you can see it turns into nothing so you definitely want to have this in your map otherwise uh, your water will just look pretty crappy in my opinion. So to the settings, you want to be sure that your saturation is enabled and set to 0 0.8. The fringe intensity has to be 3.0, vignette intensity on 0 0.87, then we're going to scroll down, so keep scrolling, keep scrolling until we hit the depth of field uh, tab. You want to uh, put the method to Gaussian once you've done that, you will see some settings change probably, and you want to set the focal distance to minus 2500. The focal region should be on zero, near transition region, zero, far transition region, 40,000. The scale should be 1.0, near blur size, zero, far blur size, one. Then go to the bottom of, or we actually have to go to uh, the MISC here, MISC tab, blendables, and you are going to have to add PP underwater extinction underscore instance. And for the second one, you're going to want PP 
underscore water screen distortion underscore instance. Once you've added those, you're fine. You're going to go to the post process volume tab and you're going to change your blend radius to 5. Those are all the settings you need in order to add water to your map. One big tip though, because this can really break your map, if you add water to your map, you want to make sure that your um, that your water is on a high enough level or on a low enough level I should say um, because what I've created for you is a another landscape up here all the way up here let me quickly go there I'm going to quickly toggle it and as you can see it looks the exact same as we had down there like there's no difference in it but as soon as I go under the water here it is completely black this is being caused by the um, post-processing volume and the settings that it has. Um, so in order to counter this, make sure your post-processing volume is on a low enough level for it to be um, perfectly blue and not completely black as you can see up there because it just looked terrible. It took me a while to figure it out myself that that was causing the blackness so I'm just giving you guys I'm just giving you this as a tip. Make sure it's not too high. That was everything for this lesson. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. And I'll try to answer them as soon as possible.